What is this mushroom called? Oh, a stink horn. Very good. What does it smell like to you? Oh, it smells <laughs> like rotten eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Buddies, Boone. Say hey. hey, Boone. Hey, Boone. No, don't say hey, Boone. Say hey to the camera. Hey. <laughs> um, today we're going to be talking about foraging with kids and how to help them understand what and what they can not do when out foraging for mushrooms. Um, so I was going to ask Boone a couple things, like what is the number one thing that you never do if you find a mushroom? So, um, don't a mushroom that you don't know about. Exactly. You always have to ID them first. It's very good. Very important. Um, can you touch mushrooms or can you not touch mushrooms? You can touch some mushrooms but not some. Okay. So what's one that you couldn't touch, for instance? Uh, the, the one you can't touch is in one city. What's it called? Again? Japan. Yeah. There's a mushroom that is in Japan and you can't touch. So That's the only one that you can't touch. You can touch any others. Um, like like a Belita yeah. of Lupides. Like a Belita of Lupides. You can touch it, but you can't like, eat it. You can't eat it. But so you just what? you just said Belita of Lupides. What's an edible type that looks like Belita of Lupides? A bicolor. Yep, it's a bicolor bleed. And what's the difference? How do you tell the difference between the two? Um, slower and the other one bruises much faster. Exactly. Um, kids can pick up on this stuff really, really quickly. This little man has been awesome at coming out. Um, if you're doing foraging yourself, you should bring a kid because honestly they'll sniff them out better than you can. Um, what? So tell me about puffballs. They, they have s'mores that can make you sick. Mm -hmm. If Spores that can make you sick if you them in. Yeah, so you don't ever want to breathe in spores. What are some of the mushrooms that you know? Uh, a medicinal one? Yeah, what's a medicinal mushroom you know of? A uh, turkey tail. This is, a, this is a turkey tail mushroom. It sure is. Huh? And uh, you know any others? Uh, reishi. Mm -hmm. These are reishi mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> These have polysaccharides and it's very healthy for you. What kind of edible mushrooms do you know about? Uh, bicolored bleeds. Bicolor bleeds edible. What else? Hen of the woods. Yeah. These, These are, are hen of, of the woods. woods. <laughs> These, These are, are hen of the woods. woods. <laughs> Three, two, one. These, These are, are hen of the woods. <laughs> Let me so see that thing. Together. What about the one that's very close to hen of the woods? Uh, chicken of the woods. These, these are, are chicken of the woods. Two, <laughs> one. These, these are, are chicken of the woods. <laughs> I almost said racy. What are those little yellow ones that are really tasty? Honey mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So that, we found one of those. There's another little yellow mushroom. It's called a shan... Chorel. This is a chanterelle. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Why don't you tell the camera what these are? Point to them and say. Those are the gills. Mm -hmm. And what's this part? That is the stem. Uh huh. And what is this? The cap. Okay, nice. Really good. And what, do you know what this is? I think that's the skirt. Some people call it the skirt. It also is called a veil. Um, learning the different parts of the mushrooms, the cap, the stem, the veil, the gills can help kids in understanding how varied the mushroom kingdom is. Um, this little man knows so much about him, it's pretty crazy. Oh, oh, I, I don't know. Whoa, what is that? There's a spider right there. I don't know. Is there a spider over here? Maybe you take it. It's, it's all dead. Okay. Now it's got the spongy underside. Oh, okay. So what does that mean it is? Uh, spongy something. Starts with a B. A bolita. Yep. A bolita. Yep. Look at all that. That's from Isn't this that little neat? mushroom. You see all these little, little, tiny blue mushrooms right there? Cut, cut them off to see what's under them. Cut, cut a little oh deeper goodness, into there. That's beautiful. And then you cut into it. Native cut Americans as far used as you to can. use it in uh, cut art. Cut as far as you can. Cut the wood. Cut the... This is just to see the color underneath, so I'm not yeah, going to cut all of it. But that is? You see, it turns the color of the wood blue. How? Isn't that neat? Uh, uh, it looks like a cloud. It kind of does look like a cloud, doesn't it? 
It's called a club fungus, a jelly club fungus. I've never seen those. You want to hold it? Yeah. And it's kind of jelly-like, the way it feels. What does it smell like? I don't know. You smell it. Does it smell like anything? Melon. It smells like melon. Can I smell? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it does kind of... It does kind of smell like melon. Good observation. It's really smelling good. Now, what's the name of that fungus? Jelly something. Jelly club. Oh, yeah, jelly club. What, mushrooms? Yeah, that's called a fairy. A fairy. Yeah. Isn't that so cool? You're a fairy now. Yeah. Hop in the fairy ring, Boone. Oh, cool. Look at you guys. You're fairies now. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> yeah, we are. You're wearing a fairy ring. <laughs> all right let's go back for lunch thank you all so much for watching that awesome video um i love that kid and i loved every second of making that video um i apologize that i haven't been putting out as much content but i definitely am getting back on track with it in the next week i will be uploading a video on amanita muscarias and the weird ties that it has to santa claus so stay tuned that's going to be an awesome video um, thank you to everybody that's liked and subscribed and followed my videos. I really appreciate you. Thank you all so much, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.